So for today, we're going to be looking at the Void Armor set that we got from Season of the Risen. This is the Eververse Armor, so in the future, this should be available. If you guys like the video, like, comment, and subscribe. But other than that, we're going to be looking at the armor, uh, goods, uh, pros, cons, st stuff like that. You get, if this is your first video, then we basically just look at the cosmetic of it, and I judge it purely on just my taste. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below, but let's just get right into it. So this is my hunter uh obviously we're going with the abyss walker armor set for the hunter uh quick note just be aware that the purple does not change color so what i mean specifically is the glows the swords on the chest piece the glows on the arms the glows on the eyebrows the bow in the back and then the boots at the bottom of the or the ankle those do not change color be aware of that because it is very disheartening again i understand why they didn't want the the armor pieces to change color or the specifically the glows to change color because it's void themed i get it it just really limits you to what you can and can't put for the shader and for it to look good because obviously you can put whatever shader you want but i also don't want to look like a clown so it is unfortunate uh because like something like this just doesn't work like in my opinion especially if i'm only using one piece then at that point like one piece is going to be purple and then everything else is just going to be green so again i understand the the idea i understand the reason i just still don't care and i i think it's terrible so let's look at the helmet first helmet's really cool in my opinion very usable the only thing you got to be aware about is the eyebrows they're fucking long other than that uh yeah the eyebrows is the only thing that doesn't change color the pupils do though so that's really cool arms uh big fan of the arms actually uh aside from this the brown leather that uh, that's the only thing i really don't like only because uh it takes uh textures really weird and that's just something that destiny 2 just does for example the venomous uh shader from gambit this season you guys can see has a snake uh pattern uh this could be a positive or negative can um depending on how you view it i'm in the middle like sometimes it's cool and sometimes like like for example this all the folds have this discoloration or more like a uh i don't really know what it's called but it just it looks terrible in my opinion so just be aware of that and yeah i i, I still think this is one of the better pieces of this whole set because the next two i think are terrible the chest piece i think is terrible i when i we first saw this armor set in the uh in the uh introduction or not introduction but when they first showed us this armor set the armor set itself looked like the swords were actually engraved into like an armor piece like like a plate armor piece not a leather piece so when i saw this i was deeply disappointed i think i actually showcase this armor set in the eververse video that i made in the beginning of the season uh which i'll have in the description below but yeah i just i think it's the weakest weakest part from the whole set because the boots i i think they're terrible like full stop they're terrible and it's only one piece that i think it's terrible for those of you who have been watching my content for a while you guys will know what what i'm talking about but it's uh it's i almost didn't even catch it it's the fact that these two pieces are different colors i know that's something small and overall the boots are really cool but on top of the glow here just not changing color and then the fact that this is just asymmetrical is just it's very 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 annoying because other like if these two like for example if i just show you a shader that i know will just combine both of the shaders together like something like this this looks fire this looks super fire um which i could combine this the shader it what why who whoever designed this in bungie wh why do you feel the need to make those two different colors like explain the logic here it just it looks terrible i'm sorry i i know you worked hard on it but i just don't understand why you had to do these two different colors i hate it i absolutely hate it uh for the cloak i think it's the best piece from the whole set if i'm being honest it's the best honestly it's the best uh i think the reason i like it so much is because we get a bow uh this 
this uh this boat or this cloak specifically with a certain exotic which i will showcase in the example armor at the end of the video is the reason why i rock this this like the whole time so hunters you guys get pretty much an a plus and with the boots like literally bring you down a grade like i would say a minus if it wasn't for the boots having this different color and if the chest piece was a little bit better it'd be s plus in my opinion but yeah let's get on to the titans and for the titans you guys ended up getting the desolation diver which is pretty cool uh for the helmet i think it's pretty cool this is definitely definitely gonna look cool with like really bulky armor because the chest piece that got that they got or you guys got is terrible in my opinion very very terrible i will always i will die on this hill that titans they they are the best represent like representation of a titan is best when they have a bulky chest piece i don't think titans do well with small chest pieces i just don't think so like come like look at this chest piece and then compare it to like something like like this one right here this is the titan right here this is a titan bulky as fuck it looks like it's it's like armor to the core this is a titan i don't think the chest piece that they ended up getting is good enough in my opinion i understand that there's a shield in the back which is really cool but i still think they could have had a little bit more protection in the back of the neck and all of that so personally chest pieces it it also makes makes the whole armor set look like look worse in my opinion arms i'm not a big fan of asymmetrical looks if you guys have followed me for a while or if you guys just saw the rant that i had over the hunter legs i'm not the biggest fan of the arms in my opinion they're cool definitely cool but uh i will never be using these boots however super dope definitely a plus these are probably one of the coolest boots the only thing that i hate is again uh the asymmetry like i just don't understand it bro like why why do you do this man who are you like the only thing that i love about these boots is that the is the fact that like from the knee up everything looks good from the knee down why like and it's not even like it's not even like it's just literally the shin armor that's like different pieces other than it's not as terrible as the hunters if i'm being honest because at least like everything should be changing the same color yeah it's changing the same color so i'm like okay i can probably ignore this if i want to um and then the mark is very basic in my opinion very basic it's actually probably one of the more basic marks i've ever seen a, a titan get which is pretty pretty terrible in my opinion especially if it's if it's an eververse armor set uh, overall titans you guys you guys some pretty got got some pretty cool pieces but i do hate that the chest piece is small as fuck the the boots specifically in the shins and the, the calves are different for whatever fucking reason and yeah honestly i think the i think the helmet and the boots are carrying this whole set and again you guys already know how much i hate asymmetry and even i still think these boots are super cool but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below uh yeah i don't know, I don't know. I st i'm still leaning on hunters just because that cloak is really good but titans let me know what you guys think warlocks i you guys are next and then i'll give you my example armor and then i'll give you my final thoughts so warlocks you guys end up getting the elect of the empty hood which is pretty or the elect of the empty which is pretty cool name uh you guys will notice that i actually do not have the boots for this i actually forgot to get them um that week so i will most likely buy them for silver because it's only like 300 and i don't mind spending five bucks but it's very unfortunate because i was actually really excited and i'm st we're still gonna do the review obviously if we've come this far but just know that the boots are nothing special we'll we will look at it after we're done doing all this so for the helmet definitely one of the coolest pieces from this whole set bro honestly the helmet honestly though i think the whole set is just s plus even the boots which i think are boring still look good in my opinion so for the helmet you guys can see this really cool silhouette of like this horn 
dog if that was actually like crystal and the crystal was actually like glowing i think that would have been so much better not saying this is bad this is still dope as fuck but you know like from here you don't see it you have to like actually turn it which is very unfortunate uh for the arms i think they're cool as fuck the fact that like you have this purple glow that's just forever in there again unfortunate that you can't change the color because again void themed but still cool nonetheless the chest piece definitely one of my favorite pieces from this whole thing a uh, hunter warlock titan warlock's got the best chest piece not even close uh just because it looks regal the triangles have purple in it it's just so cool uh for the mark or for the bond we have this really cool purple as well which i mean doesn't do anything with shaders because obviously it's just purple but it still looks really cool nonetheless uh for the boots yeah so i didn't get the boots like i said so we're gonna show or i'm gonna show you how it looks like this so these boots are boring as fuck unfortunately like i just they it shaders well probably but again very boring boots uh the only positive i can really say about these boots is it doesn't look like it has any glows so i mean go ham this might be really good so that's pretty much it for the warlocks let me know what you guys think warlocks i do apologize that i don't have the boots i must have forgotten to pick them up or i was like oh i got them already but yeah let me know what you guys think we're gonna get to the example armor sets let me know what you guys think about each and every one of them i'm gonna try to do them fast because this video is already getting really long and for the example set for the hunters this is the set i made a while back uh when the cloak became available this is definitely my favorite look on my hunter so far uh for the helmet we're using the pathfinders helmet this is one of my favorite helmets in the game just period uh for the arms we were using the imperian cartographer grips i'll explain why i'm using these in a bit uh, for the chest piece, we're using the Nemean Cures, which the only reason I'm using this chest piece is because of how perfect the cloak dangles from here. I think that's just fucking dope, in my opinion. Uh, for the boots, we are using the Cal uh, Calliope's Lullaby because of the purple uh, arrows, which I think is super cool. And then again, for the cloak, we're using the Abyss Walker cloak. So. Uh, I explained in, I don't remember which video it was, but it was where I was, sh oh, I think it was showcasing the void armor, maybe. Oh, I did a void armor inspiration armor video, I think maybe. Either way, uh, the reason I'm using the, this, uh, this arm is because traditionally Japanese bowmen, they, uh, one side is like fully like armored or like they have their, their clothes in one side and the other side is completely bare. So I was trying to like, at least invoke some of that, even though Japanese bowmen actually use a longer bow than this, but it, it was more of a, I wanna get that image in my head for my hunter. So these are the pieces that I went with. I love it. It's one of my favorite looks so far. I'm probably gonna be rocking this for a long time because uh, the, what the fuck are these boots called? Uh, Orpheus rigs. They're really good right now for DPS and they just look really cool. Yeah. Uh, hunters, let me know what you guys think. Definitely love this set. It's definitely cool as fuck. Uh, next up is Titans. And for the Titans, we have this look. Uh, obviously I went with the helmet because the helmet just looks really good. This is definitely a piece that I have used pieces multiple times, but I just really wanted to use this piece just uh, this is when I first imagined getting this helmet. This is the look I was going for in my head uh, Specifically the helmet because I think that helmet is the best piece from the whole set if I'm being quite honest uh, Doom fangs just because again we're leaning into that void look and doom fangs I think is the best void one in my opinion uh, for the chess piece we are using the devastation complex this is one of my favorite chess pieces in the game it's becoming a little bit too much or i'm using it too much in my opinion but it's just so good i can't help not use it uh for the art for the legs uh specifically i'm using the jensen knight greaves these are one of my favorite boots in the game for the titans uh just because of how simple yet elegant it looks and then for the mark, we're using another one of my favorites, the Virtuous Mark. This is definitely one of the best marks in the game. Uh, yeah, overall, I think this look looks amazing. This is definitely something I've used previously in the past. 
specifically with if i remember correctly the only thing that's different is the shader and the exotic and the helmet because i think i was using uh the helmet same 14 with different arms as well so titans let me know what you guys think i i will be rocking this look for my titan uh if i ever need to use these these arms e and even then i don't have to use these arms specifically because i could just use the other ones these right here these are definitely another one that i would use and again i, I just i love them that it this is also a, uh, a set that i fucking love the only thing that would annoy me is the fact that the purple stripes are there so i think in this case the shader would just have to be different which is not a problem i think i would just have to go with an all-white shader because or something like this yeah this yeah this looks really cool so titans let me let me know what you guys think in the comments below do you guys prefer the ursa furiosas or the doom fangs let me know in the comments below next up is warlocks and then i'll give you my final thoughts so this is my this is my warlock i have used a lot of these pieces in the past aside from the shader obviously considering i made a void armor set review or yeah basically a review i'll have it in the description below but there's gonna be a lot of carryover i still think this is really cool though for the helmet we have the celestine hood which is definitely one of my favorite helmets in the game uh with the glow and the non-glow for the arms we're using the nothing manacles i think they're the best ones for void not the best ones to use but looking i mean or at least one of them for the chest piece we are obviously using the elect of the empty definitely one of the best chest pieces in the game for the boots we're actually using the solstice boots mostly because the glow is actually there considering that the other ones that i try to use has no glow on it and then last but not least we are also using the elect of the empty bond just because i love it so warlocks let me know what you guys think i do know that i'm using a lot of carryover but again i made a void video which if you guys want to see what i did in that video i'll have it in the description below but that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think about this armor set in the comments below if you guys like the video like comment and subscribe really does help i do apologize that i haven't been keeping up with videos but i should be back in service so yeah be safe and i'll see you guys later